Are you worried about getting type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes, either because it runs in your family, because you're a certain ethnicity, or because of your current lifestyle? Well, in this video, I'm going to cover with you how to avoid getting type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes. Why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name is John Collett and in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Within six months, I managed to reverse my condition and put it into remission. And I want to help you do the same, or more importantly, not make the same mistakes I did. Now, if you are worried about getting type 2 diabetes because it runs in your family or your ethnicity, what I would say to you, listen all the way through this video and ask yourself this question. Am I doing the things that are suggested in the video? Or am I doing the things that he's saying not to do? Because the chances are that if you're doing the things that I tell you not to do, then there's a good chance you are going to get type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes. Yes, it's true, certain body, part, body types are more prone to getting type 2 diabetes or pre-diabetes than others, but just because it runs in your family, it doesn't mean it has to be you. If you live a good lifestyle, then hopefully you can avoid it. So let's get into it. What's my tips? Well, tip one is eat real food, okay? Now, real food, it grows in the ground, underground or overground. If it, it swims in the sea or it walks on this green earth, okay? And if you eat that food, that is going to be a lot better for you than processed food. You know the type of processed food I'm talking about. You stick it in the microwave, you stick it in the oven, you warm it up and bing, it's done. Okay, <laughs> that food, if it comes in a box, it's not good for you. You shouldn't eat it. It's high in processed sugar, which your body can't process. It's high in saturated fat and it's high in salt content. And all of these foods are not designed to give you nutrition. They're designed to burn energy quickly in your body so that you feel hungry again before it comes to your next meal time. And all you want to do is eat again and again and again. When you eat real food, this burns energy slowly in your body so you don't feel the need to snack in between meals. It also means you're going to get a lot more energy, you're going to get much more light than in your life. You're not going to be as tired as you are all of the time. And so it's, always, it's a great feeling. Eat real food. My next tip for you is you're going to need to do some exercise. Now, when you do these exercises, I strongly recommend you do an exercise that you love. So if you love going to the gym, do that. If you like, like the idea of getting a mountain bike, do that. If you want to do more than one exercise, do that. But exercise, if you, if you love the idea of being a cross-country skier and shoot pellets at targets as you go along, then do that. My favorite exercise is DDP yoga. I love this so much, I become an instructor. And you can go to my Facebook page to see when we do our online classes or when we do our live, live classes, go to the event section and you'll be able to find out more about what we do there. But when we exercise, what happens is we start to burn the fat that's in our liver and in our pancreas. And, and that fat there in our pancreas and our liver is what's making our body not communicate very well and is a big reason why we're suffering with something called insulin resistance. Now, I'm not going to go into insulin resistance into this video because it's a big video. I'm going to stick a video here that you can watch so you can learn all about why as type 2 diabetics or pre-diabetics or even just yourself, why you should exercise and the benefits of that and how it helps with your insulin resistance. Tip three, drink lots of water. Drink at least two liters of water a day. Start the day with at least half a liter of water before you do anything. Okay, look, our bodies are 60% made up of water. A lot of the time when you're hungry, you're not hungry, you're dehydrated. And if you drink water, you'll find that you're not as hungry anymore. You need to cut out drinking all these 
sodas, squashes, especially orange juice. It's got more processed sugar and so there's more processed sugar in orange juice than any drink by far. And also your sodas are packed with salt. Yet again, they're not, they're not there for your nutrition. They're designed for you to drink and want to drink again and again and again and again. Drink water. You want some variations? Stick some lime in it. Stick some lemon in it. You want to drink tea, coffee? Knock yourself out. You go for it. There's plenty of other options out there for you, but you need to drink at least two liters of water a day. My fourth tip for you is cut out white starchy food. Rice, pasta, potatoes and flour. It spikes your blood sugar massively, even when you're not a type 2 diabetic or pre-diabetic. Cut these foods out of your life and you're going to be far less prone to getting type 2 diabetes. Now I know for a lot of people, it's part of your culture, it's part of your tradition to eat rice or to eat pasta. Um, and what I, and I remember meeting one chap from Pakistan once and he was a pre-diabetic and he was telling me about all the great things he had done to lower his blood sugar. But he couldn't quite get where he wanted to be and he asked me what tips I had. And I said, well, do you eat a lot of rice? And then he took me to his car, okay? He took me to, he lifted the boot and there was a massive bag of balsamic rice in there. Now I'm on about a huge bag. The last time I saw a bag that big, I was picking up compost from the garden center. Okay, I'm on about a massive amount of big, big bag. So you need to cut out that rice. So it's all well and good telling you what to cut out. What should you have instead of it? Cauliflower rice instead of rice. You can have courgettes or courgette spaghetti instead of, uh, or zucchini. Sorry, it's courgette or zucchinis instead of pasta. And you can make that into a spaghetti as well. I prefer it. I love it. Okay, you can have sweet potato instead of potato. And flour, you can swap that out for almond flour or coconut flour. Tastes great, in my opinion. I still eat cake, even though I'm a type 2 diabetic, because I make it with almond flour or coconut flour. And then my fifth tip for you is stop snacking on chocolate bars, crisps, and biscuits. Okay, <laughs> yet again, First thing, if you're feeling hungry, drink some water. If that's still not gonna do the trick, dried nuts. Eat some, a handful of dried nuts. These have a fantastic amount of fat content in there and they will keep you, they will keep you, so, uh, keep you satiated until your next meal easy. And there's loads of different varieties, loads of different tastes out there. So just find a mixture that you really love and go for that. But yet again, those other foods, those chocolate bars, those biscuits and all of that, they're just designed for you to burn quickly in your body so that you want to eat more of those things. You know, it's very hard just to eat three biscuits, right? Okay, <laughs> so I know I used to find it really hard. So there's my five tips. And I just want to add something else. If you're not a type two diabetic and pre-diabetic, it's not completely necessary for you to live like a monk Okay, if you still want to have an ice cream when you go out or you, you, you know, you as a treat, you're going out for a meal and you do want to have some rice and potatoes and things like that, you can still eat those foods. Okay, but for a type 2 diabetic and pre-diabetic, all of these things I've talked about today have much more extreme consequences. So we need to avoid them. But for you, have them as a treat once a week. Okay, don't do it every day. This is why people get type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes. A lot of the processed sugar is a very addictive thing. It lights your brain up, uh, like it's same as cocaine. And so you just want to keep on going back to it. But if you have it as a treat, I mean, I'm live right, good for a week, that is good for you. Now, if you want a full list of foods that you can eat to avoid getting type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes, go to the script description below, stick your name and email address in there and I'll send you a food guide on all the different foods that you can eat to live a healthy life. Okay, I'm gonna stick some videos here all about food. You're not a number, you're a rhino. Now charge.